2 Corinthians 2.14 says, Thanks be to God who always causes us, leads us in triumph in Christ Jesus. My name is Scott Jogger, so I'm one of the pastors here at Southgate Church, and I want to talk to you about red tape. Not the kind of red tape you think of related to politics or bureaucracy. The kind of red tape I saw put on lots of football helmets in junior high football for many years of watching my son play football. My oldest son, Luke, I have five kids. My oldest son is about to enter high school and for years has played Little League football. During that entire time, they have a rule where they weigh people in at the beginning of the year and if they weigh over a certain amount, they put a red tape on their helmet and that's to designate to them, hey, this guy can't carry the football. The reason is simple. They don't want some guy carrying the football who is over a certain amount of weight because at a young age, the guys tackling them are going to be half his size and someone can get hurt. This was a problem for me all the time because all those guys with red tape on their helmet always ended up linemen. Now what that meant is they were in charge of blocking one another and Luke is a lineman. But Luke didn't have any red tape. This means at every practice, in every game, every time the linemen got ready to, to hit each other and block each other, my son was going against someone who was bigger and stronger than him. Now, I want him to, be, to succeed at football. I wanted him to, to be excited about playing, but I wanted it to be easy. And that's what reminds me about this verse. The truth is, we're okay if we're going against someone who's smaller than us or slower than us. But when the, the person we're standing across the line from has red tape and he's bigger and he's stronger, we get a little nervous. So the truth is, I want to be an overcomer. I just don't want anything to overcome. I want to triumph in Christ. I just don't want to actually have to be involved in the triumphing process. I want a testimony. I just don't want to have any test to deal with in the testimony. This verse talks about that he always leads us in triumph, but we know life is messy. So here's his promise. He is going to walk with us and he is going to cause us to triumph. And sometimes that looks hard, but we have to stay in that fight. We have to believe that he's always good and that he always cares for us and that he's always leading us. And some of us are facing uh, people, uh, facing wars in our life that are bigger, they're stronger, and, and they look insurmountable. They're standing across the line for us in our little spiritual warfare and they're standing across the line and they have red tape on their helmets and it makes us feel inadequate. And the good news is it's not about our adequacy, it's about His. He's the one who leads us in triumph. So stay in the fight. Stay in the fight. Stay with God.